Okay, today's dissection is the urinary system and reproductive system. So we're going to start with the urinary system. What we want to do is remove the visceral peritoneum from against the back of the body wall on both sides. And to do that, just find some of the fat that is around the kidney and poke right through it. And then you're just going to use blunt dissection. See this membrane? Very thin, it's only single cell thick. Uh, against that wall. And just use your probe to kind of unwrap the kidney. Uh, your kidney may or may not be as blue. It's just from the paint that they inject and the blood supply traveling into the kidney. Try to just gently remove some of the fat back there. From This is perirenal fat protecting the kidney, providing fuel source like that. There's a kidney. Okay. And then above and medial to that will be the adrenal gland. You can palpate where it is. It'll feel like a pinto bean. And there will always be a vein right over it, right there. And just keep removing that membrane from over the adrenal gland as well. This is the one that we skipped the other day because it was behind this membrane. Okay, so I'm just... Clearing out a little bit more fat. All right, so I'm going to hold this up. And this structure here <clears throat> above the probe is the adrenal gland. This looks like a little bean in the cat. Ours is a little more triangular, but still in the same place above the kidney, also called suprarenal gland. Okay, and you're going to do that to the other side. And then you're going to find the ureter. Now one of the best ways to find the ureter is to actually start at the urinary bladder rather than trying to find it in all of this fat. So what you want to do is locate your urinary bladder and <clears throat> down inferiorly at its bottom there will be a tube coming out of there. And you just go through that membrane, it's the same membrane we were removing up here, and there's that white tube. Once you have that isolated, you can just clean it by running the probe along it. And then it's going to go under a set of vessels. Don't cut those vessels off. It's a little fat blob. Because those vessels are gonadal, so we'll be learning about those in the cardiovascular system. And I'm just using my probe to clean along that tube. Like this. It's a little fat. Okay. On the other side of those vessels, just loop de do like this. And you just slide that up there, and there's your nice ureter. And you're going to do that on the other side as well. Okay. Now, for the uh, urethra, you need to make an incision along the abdominal muscle wall, but you don't want to cut through that median umbilical ligament. So go to either side, not down the middle. And you're just going to cut all the way to the body wall, like that. Okay. Then, this little blob of fat is always here, the base of the urinary bladder. You're going to use blunt dissection and just go right through that blob of fat, like this. And you're looking for a tube coming from the bottom of the bladder. Okay. And careful not to cut off this medium umbilical ligament. All right, so I'm just going through the fat, blunt dissection, and this is, there it is, okay. All right, now, once you're down through that fat, you should see the silhouette of a tube down there, which is right here. And you're just going to get underneath that, just like you did the ureter, and clean it by running the probe along it like this. All these little tiny blood vessels, we don't care about those. Okay, so here's your urinary bladder, tube coming from the bottom, urethra. Okay, urinary bladder, median umbilical ligament, ureter, kidney, adrenal gland. Alright, now <clears throat> for females, they'll come around 
again to everybody's table that has females and show them the structures and then uh, you can show your lab partners. For males, you're going to actually do a dissection of the scrotum and find the testis. And you're going to do that for both scrotal compartments, or both testis. And what you're going to do is hold the testis, uh, sorry, the scrotal skin with the forceps and make a gentle incision along that scrotum. You don't want to make so deep of an incision that you cut through the testis. So superficial, move it away, make a light cut, move things. Okay, ran out of video card, so we're going to do the other one. Alright, and you're going to do both of these anyways. You made an incision along the scrotum. Careful not to cut the testis inside. Okay. And then we removed the fascia from around the testis so that it was no longer attached to the inside of the scrotum wall. Then what you're going to do is make an incision on the surface of the testis very light incision, you don't want to go halfway through it, just to get the outer tunica vaginalis off and that fascia. So, once you have your incision, you just kind of unwrap the testis from that tissue. Now you can see the testis and the epididymis, this coil along it, right here, epididymis. Testis. Okay. Now you're going to give the testis a little pull to elongate the spermatic cord. Remember the spermatic cord is a connective tissue sheath that is going to wrap the vas deferens, the blood supply, lymphatics, and nerves going to and from the testis. You can see this is a wrapping, connective tissue wrapping, spermatic cord. Okay, you're also going to dissect the penis which is inside of a skin sheath in dogs and cats. So you're going to make a careful incision along that. Okay, open that up. Got a little bit more to go. Like this. And there's the glands penis there. A little bit farther. And we have the penis. Okay, right there. All right. Now the vas deferens are going to be white tubes that are coming through the inguinal canal. Now the inguinal canal is going to be at the base of the pelvis in the wall, in the abdominal pelvic wall, and here it is, and you see that the probe travels all the way down. It's a canal that will lead to, through the spermatic cord into the testis. And I accidentally cut this side when I did the uh, urethra. Luckily, we've got two sides. <laughs> so here's that inguinal canal on the non-dissected side. You can see how nice that canal is there. Okay. This white tube that's coming from that canal and looping back behind the urinary bladder is the vas deferens, this tube right here. Okay. And there should be one on each side. All right. And we'll either have a different video or I'll come around to the tables to show you the female uh, structures. Urinary will be the same though. Super renal gland or adrenal gland, kidney, ureter, urinary bladder, median umbilical ligament, and then you find the urethra the same way, and it's going to be the tube leading the, leaving the bottom of the bladder. Okay.